Hey, what's up guys? It's Ace here. So, I wanted to bring you guys a quick video about um, all the hype and everything that's been going on with E3 and all the stuff we've been seeing. Um, I'm really, really excited about a lot of games that are coming up. And I'm also realizing that Xbox is and Microsoft is really looking to make me a poor person this year. Very first, we have the release of Halo 5 Guardians in October, and the gameplay and some of the modes we've seen released from that are spectacular. Um, some of the features and stuff that you've seen, the new guns they brought back, they brought back the grunts. When the grunts speak, they speak English again, so that comedic relief is back. Um, the game overall should be very, very good. I, in my opinion, I'm a huge Halo fan though, so I can't say, you know, I'm, I'm kind of one-sided. Uh, another game I've noticed is Underground 3 was announced, and that game, you know, they got the drifting camera, which is kind of horrible. So hopefully they get rid of that before the release in November, but this game looks absolutely spectacular. The graphics in it are phenomenal. The uh, customization is back, so it actually looks like we have like the old school um, auto sculpt is back, so you can actually go in and it looks like you can change your taillights and your your rims, your wide body kits, your lips, you know, all that stuff. Is, it looks very independently tuned. Uh, you can change your paints, different colors, you can fine tune them, how smooth it is, how brightness it is, how matte it is. All the finishes can be controlled, so the cars can be, looks like, very, very expressive to you, which I love being expressive in a game. And it's one reason why Need for Speed kind of irritated me the past few years, because they were doing way too many changes in way too close to the manufacturer originality so there wasn't any ability to make it you it was just what they had from the factory another game that was announced was Forza 6 Motorsport 6 looks outstanding they're using the new 4 GT uh, that came back to Le Mans because they've made a new 4 GT race car they're using that to promote it and this game is another game that looks very 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 well done the graphics in it look a lot like Horizon 2 which I still don't own I want it very badly but I don't own it yet um, I'm debating where to swing a lot of my money now that these new games are coming out and they look a lot better than the old ones do but uh, Forza Horizon 2 had very very good raid mechanics and everything the graphics were really a bit good and six looks like that with the rain that they showed in their trailer and stuff like that it looks real of course the gears announcements were made they're bringing back gears of war original they're remastering it in uh, gears of war ultimate collection which is the graphic boost it looks like gears of war 3 but on steroids it's just it looks phenomenal and then um, they also announced gears of war 4 Gears of War freaking 4. So it's it's real. It's, it's happening. We There was talk about this for years that, oh, the storyline in Gears is over. There's nowhere for them to take the game. You know, we had, you know they kind of killed it in Gears of War 3 and then tried to come back with Judgment, and Judgment was just crap. You know, it just it didn't have enough of a, in my opinion it was, it just didn't have enough element to the story. It wasn't a bad graphics-wise or gun-wise because they had the new, the new gun that was in it was great. But um, it just it didn't have what a Gears game had. Like Gears of War 3 was like a masterpiece. It was good. The gameplay was awesome. The multiplayer was good. Um, Storyline was there. Just the ranking system. Everything was better than that. But those were announced. So Xbox really came out this year and said, "Hey, you know, we're gonna make a lot of noise." Come when they released Xbox One, there was a lot of Ooh, the consoles not all that good and everything. Also. I'm getting off track here because I want to mention this. Backwards compatibility was announced. I don't know the list. I'm sure it's somewhere how many games you can actually, you know, use. But it was announced that you can now play certain 360 games on your Xbox One. But it's not available yet. It's when the update for the console is released, and I'm not sure when that is yet. But uh, when the update comes out, you'll be able to backwards uh, compatibilities that means you'll be able to play certain titles on your Xbox one through the update which is awesome this is a perfect time where if you were thinking I don't want to spend that much money on Xbox one you can now play your favorite some of your favorite games on Xbox one from your 360 so it might be time to switch over but I really hope that eventually they uh, release some way to boost your storage capa uh, capacity because Next one's still lacking at only 500 gigabytes, and mine is almost full at, I think it's like 120 right now, with the ones I have installed. So when I cycle, I'm gonna have to uninstall certain games, and it's just a lot of headaches. So hopefully they release really some way to boost the storage capacity, but um, there's there's more days, I believe it's still going on. But uh, my opinion is that uh, 
between the games that I want very badly and the ones that are still to be announced or haven't been announced or the ones that are kind of sneaky and hiding it, they're going to have me be a very, very poor person because a lot of these I am planning on buying on release and I usually don't do that. I'm usually a, you know, patient person. I wait for them to be released for a few months and then wait for a deal of a price reduction of some sort. But these are some blockbuster titles. They there's going to be a lot of good games. So, anyways, guys, that's Ace. Good to see you guys again. I'll try to do more content, more, you know. I like doing this, so I'm going to try to keep bringing it. But, uh, anyways, quick little update about E3 and what my opinions are and everything. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.